your words shape your reality. Use better words, and guess what you'll have? A better reality. So healing vortex. Um, healing is a fascinating thing because when I first became a therapist, I really had no idea that I could actually do healing, but people would come and say to me, oh my God, you did something amazing. And when I was in Barcelona two years ago, there was a really nice girl here who'd actually got hit. She, her hand got hit by a car. And I was in the middle of a workshop and she called, she goes, my hand's just been hit by a car. I'm in a really bad way. So I went to meet her. I said, you've got to go to the hospital. She went, no, no, no. I, I know you can fix me. And I was looking at her and she had the look in her eyes of like what I call a terrified pony look. And so I was talking to her and then she said, oh, it's already happening. You know, every time you nudge me, you're obviously doing the healing. And I, I really wasn't, but she clearly thought I was. So I just carried on and said, okay, I'm commanding your left hand, which is hurt, to become exactly like your right hand. And so I did a little bit of command therapy, a bit of healing vortex. And she said, I feel so much better. It doesn't even hurt. I feel great. And the next day she did go to have an x-ray and they said, well, it's amazing your hand's been hit by a car because there's practically no damage. There's no inflammation, tiny bit of bruising, and it's all fine. And when I very, very first became a therapist, this gentleman came to see me. I never forgot him. He was quite titled. And he came in for being an alcoholic, and he sat in front of me. And I started to talk. He went, my dear, I can't speak. This is so powerful what you're doing that I'm unable to speak. And he put his head on my desk, and he thought he was in deep hypnosis. He really wasn't. I thought, well, you know, he thinks he's in deep hypnosis. He believes he's catatonic. So I continued the session and said, Drinking no longer interest. You know the opposite of love is not hate. It's indifference. From this moment on, you are indifferent to alcohol, disinterested. Now, and guess what? You love not drinking. You love it so much, you tell everyone. And I kind of carried on with a spiel. And at the end, he opened his eyes and went, that, that was marvelous. And I know it worked because he must have sent me hundreds of people who said, well, you looked at him, and he went so deep into a trance. You did something very odd to his mind. And he's never had a drop of alcohol since. But, you know, I really didn't do it. He did it. He came in with a belief, you're going to look at me and do some stuff, and you're going to fix me. And really, that's what healing is. This is not to denigrate religion at all. When the preacher says, I put my hand on your head, and the Holy Spirit is healing you, it's your belief that's healing you. When you go to countries like lords where people say you know the energy and the water and the holy water healed me well that's both true and not true your belief system can heal you it can also make you very sick if you say you know i always get sinus headaches in the winter i always get headaches when it's cold i get my tension headaches every monday the amount of people i work with who get sick on a monday and better on a friday it's not that surprising because they hate their job so healing is self-healing, and I've been studying the mind for 33 years, studying something called neuroplasticity, which is the mind's ability to change, and, and eminent doctors and scientists now say, you know, the mind isn't static. It's very plastic. We can look inside the mind and see that thoughts change neurons. Good thoughts make good neurons. Bad thoughts make bad neurons. So your mind is extremely gifted at talking to your body. It does it every day. I ate that cake, I know I'm going to get fat. You know, I knew it. Look, I've gained a pound. I knew if I looked at a cake, I would get fat. Well, actually, weirdly enough, if you look at a cake or a pizza or a hot dog saying, that will make me fat, I can get fat just inhaling food. That belief creates so much tension, so much cortisol, and cortisol's job is to pack on weight. If you look at food and go, you know what, whatever I eat, my metabolic rate burns it off. I prefer to eat healthy food. That's my choice. But you know what? A little bit of something every now and again, my body knows how to burn that off. And again, you know, my clients have taught me everything. You know, I didn't learn what I'm going to do with you today from a book or even from my own very eminent teachers. I learned it from my clients. Many, many years ago, I was out with my best friend and my daughter and her husband, who's terribly posh. And we all had mushrooms, and we all got sick, except for me, said, I never get sick. My body simply would not dare to reject any food I choose, but it wouldn't dare, wouldn't 
dare to do that. I thought, well, I'm going to have that belief too. My body would not dare to reject any food I put in it. My body would not dare to do anything except take the food I put in and combine it with light and build a perfect body for me. So you always have a choice. Your mind talks to your body all the time. That's its job. And your job is to tell your mind what you want. I want perfect health. I don't do illness. I do wellness. Everything I do is perfect. You know, I was at a conference recently. Someone around me, oh, my God, I'm so glad I listened to your audio because you know I have four hours of sleep. And I tell my mind I'm having eight. And I thought, God, I should do that. I'm teaching people this. I forgot. I can do that too. Tell my mind I've had eight hours of sleep. Tell my mind I feel amazing. Tell my mind when I'm working out, my body loves this. My muscles love this. I can do a bit more. Rather than go, oh, it all aches and I hate doing this. And I could be at home watching TV. So just to be very clear, your mind's job is to do what you tell it. And your job, should you choose to accept, is to tell it great things, amazing things. I'm not aging, I'm saging. I'm, and I'm embodying wellness. I have perfect balance. You can choose. Not only does the mind tell the body what to do, it also interrupts the signals coming back from the body. I've got this crippling, thumping headache. It can become, well, I've got a little niggle in my head, but I'm really too busy to notice it. I'm in agony. No, you've just had a little shot. That's not agony. This commute is hell. No, hell is not having a car or any gas, and looking at people or taking three buses to do your commute, being in this store is torture. No. When you go to Africa and you see they don't have any stores, and the ones they do have no food, and you'll never again stand in Ralph's and go, this is a nightmare. It's hell, grocery shopping. If you have money in your wallet to buy food for people that love you, that is so far beyond hell. But people use these words, it's killing me, it's a disaster, it's a nightmare. I was on a plane recently, and this girl went to the bathroom, and she screamed so loudly at the studio. What happened? She went, oh, my God, it's a disaster. What? She said, my movie didn't pause when I went to the bathroom, and I don't know how to catch it up. It's like, wow, people use that word on a plane. They shout out, this is a disaster. But, you know, we don't even know we do that, and it's a very good idea to speak to your friends and go, hey, what are the words I use? I worked with this very famous model who her favorite word was terrifying. Men talk to me, terrifying. I've got off with this great L'Oreal advert, terrifying. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go to act now, terrifying. I'm like, darling, it's not terrifying. It's your fantasy dream come true. What would you have given 20 years ago for this terror? Your baby keeps you up all night? Swap places with someone who's selling their house for IVF and stop saying this is terrifying. This is a nightmare. This is a disaster because you are telling your body to react as if it is indeed a nightmare, a disaster. Your words shape your reality. Use better words, and guess what you'll have? A better reality. It really is as simple as that. You know, I, I've had a lot of challenges in my life, all kinds of stuff. I was told I could never have a baby. It was impossible, and I just thought, I'm not letting that in. I've twice had... Um, very interesting illnesses. And I thought, you know what? I'm not doing this. I'm doing wellness. And I say to my body, you are a wellness-creating machine. Your job is to do wellness, only wellness, nothing but wellness. And my body understands because I tell it very clearly, not, oh, it's okay, it's not bad, it's okay. I, it, you are a wellness-producing machine 24 hours a day. And when I'm tired, I just say, well, my body's like a battery. It needs some recharge. I never come exhausted. I'm shattered. I'm dying of tiredness. I'm dying of starvation. Anyone in this room ever been dying of starvation? I don't think so. Anyone actually ever eaten a horse? I could eat a horse. Who could ever do that? Even that much of a horse. This is killing me. This stress is driving me insane. My kid is making me go mad. Anyone ever said that? Anyone ever noticed they actually have gone mad? Of course not. I do something called PPP. If it's not permanent, and it's not personal, and it's not all pervasive, it's not coming together. Your kid hates you. Well, when they're 15, they hate everyone. That's not personal. It's what they do. 
your boss is difficult. That's not all pervasive. It's not in your life when you're having sex with your partner or having a long bath or having a nice dinner. So it's not permanent, it can't get you. If it's not personal, meaning it's not just about you, it can't get you. And if it's not all pervasive, it doesn't go on all the time, it can't get you. So we're going to do a lot of healing today, and I'm going to just tell you one more thing about the mind listening. When you prefix any illness with my, I've got my migraine, I've got my indigestion, I've got my irritable stomach, I've got my tension headache. When you call something mine, that's an ownership word, and the mind does not want to give up anything you prefix with my my fat legs, if only I didn't have these fat legs, my, my big bar, my greed, my hunger, I need my McDonald's, I gotta have my latte with my muffin. You know, when we call something mine, it's like, well, this is my child, and here's my lovely husband, and this is my gift to you. We're very proud of it, we own it. When you call it the, people say, here's the wife, nobody likes that. Here's the husband. We don't like that. The means you don't own it. So just a little heads up. If you have anything you want to fix, physical, mental, emotional, my temper, never prefix something you want to be free with my. Call it the, and the mind understands, oh, you're not invested in this. Therefore, it can go away. So I'd love to talk to you for hours, but we've got some very, very important healing to do. So what we're going to do is something called the healing vortex. And the vortex, I want you to imagine it rather like a big spinning top, rather like a tornado of energy. You're going to see it just above your head, and it's wider at its widest part than your shoulders, and it's going to come down this. Some people think it comes out from this way, but it's rather like those slinky. You know the slinky? It's going to move through you this way. And if you can imagine the rotating brushes of a car wash, their job is to dislodge, dislodge crud, to find old, impacted stuff and to get it out. So the vortex is going to go through you, dislodging stuff, toxic stuff, but also toxic thoughts. And because a lot of us, it's our thoughts that make us ill. So you can do this physically, mentally, emotionally. When I do this in my own training, my staff run around and everyone in the audience has a piece of paper and they write down what they want to be healed from and we stick it on a big board. But that's with 70 people. It would just take too long today. So while I'm doing this, if you have something like I have female hormone imbalance or erectile dysfunction, which of course isn't for everyone, we're not really going to talk about that because it doesn't affect the whole audience, but that doesn't mean you can't stop and think, yeah, I'm going to work on premature ejaculation or hemorrhaging or, or painful periods. You can do whatever you like. So I'll, I'll stop this from time to time and allow you to think your own thoughts put in your own beliefs, but it's immensely powerful. Even if we don't touch your particular issue, it will work. We're going to start at the head, go right down to the feet. So are you all ready? Oh, and we're going to do this in hypnosis because hypnosis is such a powerful way of getting the mind to really speak to the body. And the body listens. When you go into the subconscious mind, the conscious just goes away. And it allows the subconscious to take over. I think of the subconscious as like a Ferrari. And the conscious is like the driver of a Ferrari that really hasn't had enough Ferrari driving lessons to have a clue what to do with it. Your mind is like a Ferrari. And if you have Ferrari driving lessons, you can get that Ferrari to do amazing stuff. Or it's like a wild horse. But if you've never ridden a wild horse, it's not going to go, oh, I'll do what you want. It's not. But you can run your mind. So we all ready. The fastest way to go into hypnosis, for those of you who haven't done it before, I would like to do it when you get on a plane or a train, or I would like to do it to sleep better, is to roll up your eyes as if you're looking up here. And the trick, and it is a trick, it's also a science, is to keep your eyeballs up, but to close your eyelids down. So let's all do it together. Do not roll your head back. Keep your chin exactly where it is. And look up as if you're trying to look into your eyebrows. Just look up, only use your eyeballs. Keep your eyeballs exactly like that. And keeping the eyeballs up, close the eyelids down. And if you can do that, you can't stop yourself going into this amazing, powerful, deep hypnosis. So let's all do it. Keeping your chin where it is, just look up. 
as high as you can, roll up your eyes as if you're trying to look into your forehead. Keep your eyes glued to a real or imagined spot overhead. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keeping your eyeballs up. Every time you blink, you are going into hypnosis. The more you blink, the deeper and faster you are going into hypnosis roll. Breathe in again. Keep your eyeballs up. Breathe out. And just one more time, breathe in. This time, hold it. Keep the eyeballs up. Even if it's a little strained, keep them up. And this time, as you exhale, keep your eyeballs up. Close your eyelids right down, all the way down. As your eyelids shut down, forget all about the position of your eyes. And just drop your chin Just drop your chin so you really feel that looking down sensation. Just drop your chin down. And I want you to get that same looking down feeling that you might get as you look over a balcony or down a flight of stairs. And as I count backwards, you're going to see your feet, feel your feet, And hear your feet taking each step. Some people are very visual. They can see the steps and their feet and the foot where they have on today taking each step. Other people can feel it. Other people can hear it. It's not important. Your mind is designed to respond to two things, the pictures in your head and the words you hear. And the words I'm saying are causing you to make these pictures. You are right now moving on to step 10. As each muscle, every nerve turns loose, lets loose, and you go deeper. You're taking step nine, and you can feel your feet connecting to each step as you go deeper, deeper, deeper into a profound, powerful healing level of hypnosis. You are taking step eight. You can see your feet touching that eighth step as you go deeper, deeper, deeper. You're taking step seven. You can see your feet, hear your feet, even feel your feet connecting to each step as you move down, drift down, travel down to a powerful, healing, transformational level of deep, wonderful, empowering hypnosis. So just let yourself go deeper. You are taking step six. As each muscle, every nerve turns loose, lets loose, and you go deeper. You're taking step five, going even deeper still, halfway into this powerful transformational healing vortex you are taking step four as every sound and noise and movement around you carries you deeper and further into powerful profound transformational healing hypnosis you are taking step three going deeper with every heartbeat you are taking step two as you gently calmly easily move on over to an even deeper level. You are taking step one. Go deeper, deeper, deeper. Your mind knows exactly what go deeper means. It means go deeper into an awareness of yourself. Go deeper into your own internal state. Every time I click my fingers and say these words, go deeper, drift deeper, sink deeper. Your brilliant genius mind is taking you deeper. Go deeper, go deeper, drift deeper, sink deeper, go deeper, 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 even deeper still. But please be aware that depth of trance is not linked to results. You can be in the lightest state of hypnosis and get the most profound healing. You can be in a deep catatonic state and get the most profound healing. It's not about how deep you are, but it's good to believe we're going deeper. So one more time, go deeper, 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 deeper into a powerful state of self-healing where you begin to understand that your body, 
respond to the words you tell it and the pictures you make in your head from this day on. Those words are yours to change. Those pictures are yours to change. The way you feel about anything is because of the pictures you make in your head and the words you say. People say, but I'm not visual. Yes, you are. You could never worry a day in your life if you weren't visual. So now's the time to visualize. And I want you to simply visualize a tingling sensation in your fingertips. Just think about a tingling sensation moving throughout your 10 fingers. You can feel that tingling all across the tips of your fingers. And as you focus on that tingling, it's increasing all by itself. And you can notice that happening. Move that tingling all across your palms. Focus on that tingling sensation in your palms and notice it increases all by itself. And you can simply observe that happening. The more you think about the tingling in your fingers and palms, the more you can notice it. Now move it down to your toes. Focus on a tingling sensation in the tips of your toes as you focus on that tingling. It's increasing all by itself. And you can notice that tingling moving into the ball of your foot, moving into the arch of your foot. And now move it back to your hands. And now move it back to your feet and have the tingling going on in your hands and your feet. You're learning to move energy around your body. It's as simple as thinking about it. Where a thought goes, energy goes, and healing goes. When you think a thought, you create a physical reaction and an emotional response. And whenever you wish to, a healing response too. So now is the time to begin. You've already seen that you think a thought, it creates a reaction. And you can move that energy just by thinking about it, just by telling your mind, make my hands tingle, now make my feet tingle, now make them both tingle. I want you to imagine just above your head is the most beautiful, powerful vortex of energy. It's moving in a clockwise direction from left to right. This energy is rather like a spinning top. It's a spinning top of energy. It's rather like a tornado. I want you to pick a color, a beautiful healing color, pink, white, silver, gold, blue, the color that works for you. And I want you to notice this vortex is about to move through your body, keeping your body completely within its sphere. And all of your vibrations are going to vibrate at exactly the same frequency as this powerful healing energy vortex. Just like a tornado, just like a spinning top, it has a tail. And that's the first part that's going to move into your body. Then it has a middle section that's wider than your hips and shoulders. Then it has a top. And the midsection is about to move into your mind and really work on outdated beliefs. But remember, because this is moving through your body, you have three times, three times to work on your eyes, your gut, your stomach, your heart, your beliefs, your hair, your metabolic rate, your immune system, whatever you want. So right now, the top of this powerful, beautiful, vibrating healing energy vortex, which is spinning, turning, twisting, tipping, is touching the top of your head as it moves into your body. It's moving into your head, and rather like a laser, it is geared to go straight into your mindset and find negative thoughts. And as this vortex finds negative thoughts, negative beliefs, negative imprints, negative impressions you picked up years ago that have been stuck in there, just like the rotating brushes of a car wash. It will dislodge them and move them and shove them out of your body, out of your mind, out of your life, like a big broom. That's where it's going. So right now you can feel this spinning energy, this pulsating energy, this turning energy as this vortex moves completely into your mind. And like a laser, it locates negative thoughts. 
limiting beliefs, destructive thoughts. I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I can't do what other people do. I'm not lovable enough. I'm different. This vortex is finding those thoughts and moving them, shoving them, pushing them, moving them out of your mind. It is looking at every syntax, every neuron, and it is dislodging, limiting beliefs, limiting thoughts, anything that could have hurt you, held you back, or limited you, anything that could have limited you from learning, from recognizing how lovable you are, from knowing that you can live in perfect health and wellness. Anything that would stop that, delay that, limit that is already being shoved out of your mind, shoved in front of this vortex, ready to be pushed out of your body. But as this vortex is staying in your mind, it can also install some pretty powerful stuff. It can install in you powers of phenomenal recall, incredible confidence, powers of concentration, comprehension, retention, recall, assimilation. Everything you have ever read or experienced in your entire life is in your mind, stored there for your memory. And if you want a phenomenal memory, say to your mind, go ahead and remind me. Your mind is like Google. It is always switched on. It's never on pause. It records everything. And you say to your mind, remind me where my passport is. Take me to my keys. Remind me. And it will do whatever you say. So right now, this vortex is working on coding, installing, imprinting into you a phenomenal memory, incredible, impressive powers of retention, recall, comprehension, concentration, assimilation. Your conscious mind is expanding. Anything you focus on, you remember, and you tell yourself, every day I have a phenomenal memory, an incredible memory. I have great focus. When I focus, my conscious mind expands. I take in more and more information. I have phenomenal powers of retention, recall, focus. Say that every day, and it can only, only, only come true. But now this vortex is moving down to your eyes. It's slowing right down. And it's working on your eyes, working on your vision so you can see perfectly. It's working on your vision. You're able to see the absolute beauty of you. You're seeing yourself the way your children see you, the way people who love you see you, the way your pets, your friends see you. You're seeing that you are beautiful. You matter. You are deeply significant. You are here for a reason, and you have something phenomenal to offer the world. So allow this vortex to slow right down and work on your eyes. If you have one eye better than the other eye, you can actually do this in your head silently. You can command one eye to use the other better eye as an imprint, as a memory. You can command your mind to go back to its original coding and to give you perfect vision wonderful vision, outstanding vision. You can see clearly. And in seeing clearly, you see the beauty of you, the wonder of you. Maybe you can even hear that Elvis Presley song playing. It's the wonder, the wonder of you. And you can play that song in your head every time you do the vortex and see the wonder of you. Because when you see the wonder of you, you give the whole world permission to see the wonder of you. So right now, hear that song. See through your own eyes the wonder of you. But also understand that you have immense power to have perfect vision, to have your eyes work perfectly, to have your eyes go back to their original coding and to function perfectly, properly, correctly, exactly as nature intended them to and indeed wants them to. And now the vortex is moving on from your eyes. It's traveling down to your nose, traveling down to your ears, and it's slowing right down. 
because now you're beginning to hear every compliment you've ever had. And if there weren't enough, give yourself some right now. I matter. I am deeply significant. I am more than enough. I'm here for a reason. The universe wanted me to be here. It wanted me to be me. And there is something I can do better than anyone else. I'm here for a reason. Imagine hearing those words every day. I matter. I'm significant. I'm enough. I have a purpose. And I live that purpose. Imagine if you could hear that every day, because you can. Because as this vortex in its vastness works on your ears, but also moves down to your mouth and your throat, you have a voice. And your voice now commits to saying these words every day. I matter. I am significant. I am enough. I am deeply lovable. I easily give and receive love. And imagine having your children say those words every day around the breakfast table. I matter, I'm significant, I'm enough, I'm lovable just the way I am, and I'm here for a purpose with something unique to offer the world. Because that is the truth about you. So I want you to imagine saying it. Say it now in your head. And now let's all say it out loud with power, with unshakable conviction, with absolute certainty. Repeat after me. I matter. I'm deeply significant. I am so enough. I couldn't be more enough. I'm here for a reason. I'm here for a purpose. And now I recognize my own enoughness and my own significance, I give the whole world permission to also recognize my enoughness and my significance. So now you understand when you tell your mind, when you do your job, your mind can only do its job, do your job. So let's stay around the throat, the mouth, the ears, the nose, the eyes for a little bit. And I want you to imagine this vortex is working on all the neurons for anyone who has headaches or thinning hair or any kind of neurological cerebral issues. Your mind is right now working on every blood vessel, every artery, every nerve, commanding, compelling, instructing, directing your mind to go back back to its original coding, allowing your mind to be clear, your head to be clear, your thoughts to be clear, your words to be powerful. You are commanding, compelling, directing, instructing, coding your brilliant mind to go back to your original coding, back to your original imprint and impression. So everything in your head the way your heads feel, the way your thoughts are, what you see, what you hear, what you speak. You have a voice now, and you have good vision. You see the beauty of you, the wonder of you, you speak it. And you see the wonder of others and the beauty of them, and you speak that too. And your life is already becoming extraordinarily wonderful because you live in wonder. And you are able at any time to say to your mind, I command you, compel you, instruct you, direct you, code you to function perfectly and properly all the time exactly as nature wants you to and intends you to. So now the vortex is moving down to your shoulders, moving down to your neck, starting to travel down your spine. As this vortex travels down your spine, I want you to see it is making your spine straight. It is aligning your spine so that every muscle, every nerve, every vertebrae is like little Lego bricks, all slotting into place. And you sit up straight. You hold your head up high. You have a perfect support system. It is you. You have a strong back. This vortex is spinning, turning, moving, vibrating ensuring that every disc, every nerve, every muscle, every bone, 
and every vertebrae in your back is in the right place doing the right job, communicating with every other muscle and nerve. In fact, every organ in your body, every cell is in the right place doing the right job, communicating beautifully and perfectly with every other cell as this vortex moves across the small of your back and across the back of your shoulders. It is strengthening, straightening, aligning your posture. You know, back pain is so often linked to lack of support. But when you believe in yourself and praise yourself, you support yourself. You don't need to give that job to anyone else. Allow that vortex to travel down your spine to vibrate and turn and twist as it massages the muscles in your shoulders, in your upper back, in the small of your back to keep you aligned and straight. And while the one part of the vortex is moving along your spine, the part at the front is moving to your heart, your big, beautiful heart. I want you to see this vortex vibrating paying particular attention to your heart. You know, many of us have a broken heart, and that's a good thing. You know why? When a bodybuilder wants to make a muscle bigger, they break it down. They break it, and it grows back bigger than ever. Your big, beautiful heart is bigger and more beautiful because of the scars. Some of you might know that in China, when priceless Ming vases are broken and they can't make them perfect, they fill them with gold liquid and they look more beautiful broken than they ever looked intact. I want you to see your big, beautiful heart. If it's got scars, that means it's bigger and better, bigger and better. Your heart has an immense capacity to love, to love you, to love other people, but to love yourself. If you want to attract love, you only have to do one thing, and that is to know you are lovable. To look at your big, beautiful heart and see this is a heart that's able to give and receive. The more I give, the more I receive. The more I receive, the more I give. I am lovable, and so I easily give love, and I easily receive. That is another command you now give to your mind every day. Repeat after me. I am lovable. I accept myself as lovable. I see myself as lovable. I easily give love. I easily accept the love that surrounds me. And I am filled and nourished by that love. And that is the truth about you. So allow this vortex to work on your heart. And now it's working on your lungs. The first thing you did when you were born was to take a breath and then to give one away. So let's work on some balance. I want you to take a breath and breathe in. I want you to take that breath in, breathe right down into your stomach. Fill up your lungs with air and then give it away. And now take another one. Take a breath. Give it away. Take it back. Take more breath. Take in more. Fill up your lungs. Give it all away. And there's your balance of giving and receiving. You give and receive love. You give and receive praise. You give and receive of your gifts and talents. You give and receive. Just like breathing, you can't just give a breath and not take one. And you can't take a breath without giving one. Nature requires you to have balance, giving, receiving. So allow this vortex, this spinning, whirling, twisting, tipping vortex to work on your lungs, to work on your heart, to work on your spine, to work on your entire body, filling you up with love and light and healing. This vortex is still moving. The lower part is moving round in your body, twisting, turning, vibrating. You can feel that vibrating. You can feel the spinning. It is spinning, vibrating, and moving all the time, working on your heart, your lungs, your back, your kidneys, all of your organs. All of your organs are benefiting from this powerful frequency, vibrating 
and moving and pulsing around your body and while the bottom section is working from your neck down the midsection is still working on your thoughts your beliefs your memories those old imprints the fact that you've been holding on to beliefs that you believed when you were four or five or ten and that's not you that can never be you when you say that's not me those neurons that became like super highways of negativity collapse they unravel they just disappear and instead you fire in better neurons so now allow that vortex to move down to your stomach the seat of all emotions this powerful healing vortex is vibrating moving moving into your stomach moving into your gut moving into your intestines and as it moves into your gut it is finding toxic beliefs while the top part is in your mind still finding toxic beliefs finding toxic residues chemical residues it is finding toxic residues toxic beliefs chemical residues chemical beliefs it is dislodging them all remember these brushes of the car wash spinning twisting vibrating moving moving out anything that doesn't serve you doesn't help you cannot benefit you this vortex is vibrating you can feel it vibrating into your stomach vibrating into your gut working on your central nervous system working on your immune system your immune response sites are in your neck your armpit your groin and i want you to feel your immunity becoming massively improved you can see you have little sentries in all of your immune response sites and every day they go out looking for disease for illness and they surround it and they annihilate it they vaporize it your body has the power to be a wellness producing machine and i want you to look at your immune system command it i command you compel you instruct you direct you and code you to work perfectly your job is to keep me in perfect health and my job is to tell you after I command you compel you direct you instruct you to do wellness wellness phenomenal wellness awesome wellness incredible wellness your words form your reality your words and the way you talk to your body allows your body to talk to your mind allows your mind to get those signals and to act on them your mind is doing its job do yours use beautiful words and now this vortex is still working in your stomach working in your gut working on your metabolic rate working on your digestion working on your elimination you eliminate through your breath through your skin through your bladder through your bowels and you can have perfect elimination you are eliminating toxins right now eliminating toxic thoughts toxic beliefs toxic memories toxic imprints and impressions they are being diluted and they are being shoved out of your body i want you to see this vortex like an Im immense broom like an immense vacuum cleaner locating all that crud all that stuff all that toxicity and just pushing it out of your body out of your mind out of your life so now the vortex is staying in your stomach the seat of all emotions staying in your gut the second brain it's also traveling down your arms to your hands and your hands are open to receive your heart is open to give your big beautiful heart is open to give and your hands are always open to receive you receive compliments you give compliments you give of yourself and you receive from that and if you work for yourself you can decide you know i'm going to value myself more i can increase my rates if i give something of value i must receive something of value back whatever we're buying we buy for one reason how it makes us feel if you can make people feel good you can receive for that too remember you must give and receive receive and give nature requires balance give and receive of yourself give and receive love give and receive health that vortex is still vibrating moving twisting spinning working it's now covering your entire body the top part is still in your mind still 
getting rid of those last lingering negative beliefs, still working on your eyes, your ears, your nose, your throat, your mouth, your voice, your beliefs. The midsection is working on your neck, your shoulders, your heart, your lungs, your liver, your kidneys, all of your organs. And the lower section is starting to move down to your legs, your hips, your thighs. You have perfect balance. Every muscle, every nerve, every gland, every bone, every cell, everything is in the right place at the right time. You are nourished and filled by love, nourished and filled by the fact that you choose to give yourself better food, nourished and filled by the compliments you give and receive. You are a giving, receiving machine. You give and receive love. You give and receive praise, so much praise. Nothing will ever build your self-esteem more than praise, and you give that to yourself every day. You're committing to do that now. You wake up and say, I matter, I'm lovable, I'm enough. And you give yourself better nourishment, more hydration, better sleep. Because this vortex is also working on the sleep part of your body. You don't go to sleep, you don't fall asleep, you lie in bed, you roll up your eyes, keep the eyeballs up, close the lids, and you say to your mind, I command you, instruct you, direct you, compel you to send perfect sleep to me tonight and every night in your mind goes, okay, I know how to do that. Command, compel, direct, instruct your mind to give you sleep, to give you a phenomenal metabolic rate, an incredible immune system, perfect digestion, a heart that is so open to giving and receiving love. And now you can feel this balance as this vortex just starts to move out of your body. It is traveling down your legs, traveling from your thighs to your knees, traveling to your calves, traveling down to your feet. It's slowing down just a little because it wants you to be so grounded that when you stand up, you are grounded to the earth. You're grounded to the earth. You have perfect balance. You walk with confidence. You speak with confidence. You make eye contact. You matter. You're significant. The way you talk, the way you walk, the way you eat, the way you love, the way you sleep, all reverberate from that saying you say every day, I matter, I'm significant, I'm enough, I'm lovable. You take your place in the world and you stand up straight. So now the vortex is starting to move out through the soles of your feet. I want you to imagine you have two valves. And I want you to open up those valves and let that vortex trickle out and tip out and move out the way you might make a hole in an egg timer, turn it upside down and let that sand trickle out. The vortex is leaving your body, but this is not an ending. This is a brand new beginning. You have the power at any time to roll up your eyes, to imagine your vortex, to let it go through. You can take as long or as little as you like. You can let it take minutes. You can take half an hour. You can do it when you're in the bath, just before you go to sleep, just after you wake up. And you can have that vortex go to your area, slow down, and you say these words just like this. I command you compel you, instruct you, direct you, encode you to take my body back to its original imprint and impression and to make it function perfectly and properly for the rest of my long, joyful, gorgeous life because that's what nature wants. Anytime you can command, compel, code, direct, instruct your body to do this. Command, compel, code, direct, instruct your body to heal any organ. Anything that's physical, mental, emotional, it doesn't matter. Your body is a healing machine. If you cut your arm, it knows how to fix it. And it's ready to heal you. So allow that vortex to start moving out through the soles of your feet, pushing in its wake, shoving in front of it, all the negative thoughts, all the negative beliefs, all the negative limiting imprints, impressions, ideas, and beliefs that someone gave you, and they're not yours. 
And as you feel that old stuff being shoved ahead of the vortex, pouring out of your body, trickling out through the soles of your feet, remember, it was never yours anyway. Someone gave you that old stuff. You've lugged it around, carried it around for years, and now you're letting it go. The most important words in the whole world, let go, let it go. Sing that song from Frozen, let it go, let it go. Who needs all those old imprints anyway? Let it go, let it go. It's pouring out through the soles of your feet, and all that's left behind is clarity, self-love, self-belief, self-healing. So just take a few more moments and remember, you can go ahead and do this anytime, anytime at all. You are able to reinstall that vortex. Command, compel, co-direct, instruct your body. So let it move out of your body, leaving behind wellness, wholeness. And when you're ready, just come back into the room. Just open up your eyes. Take a deep breath. And if you still feel a bit spinny, that's a good sign. That's a great sign. Thank you so much. And we don't need to do any clapping because I want you to just have a few minutes to really soak this in. But at 2 o'clock today, I'm to give you another talk on how you can do what I do. So if you want to come back to this room at 2, you can hear how you can do it too. So thank you so much. A big round of applause for you. Thank you, thank you.